Nelson historians Hilary and John Mitchell documented the history of Māori in Nelson and Marlborough in their four-volume work, Te Ihu o Te Waka. John Mitchell explains the New Zealand Company's 1842 survey of 1,100 sections for settlers and investors also set aside one-tenth reserves for local Māori, which recognised Māori from as far away as Golden Bay and Derville Island, who used the Maitai and its estuary as a seasonal food source for kahawai, flounder, eels and seabirds. Henry Thompson, the police magistrate, was charged to select on behalf of Māori those 100 sections to which they were going to be entitled. And the interesting thing is that when you look at the order in which Thompson made his selections, the first 20 odd were mahinga kai, food gathering places on the edge of the estuary uh, and up the sides of the Maitai River. And this map shows little red dots showing where those first 20 odd selections were. So the importance of the river and, and the haven to local Māori had been appreciated by Thompson, even though he had only been in town probably less than a fortnight. The Maitai Valley had also been an important transport corridor for iwi going back hundreds of years. They would come targeting the river itself and its resources, but yes, uh, it was also a main route of course up and over the Maungatapu saddle and some of the other routes through to the upper Polaris. And there's certainly plenty of recorded evidence by early explorers, uh, Parkinson and Drake, I think it is, 1843, one of the early explorations of the valley, and they came across the re remains of Māori whare on what they said was a now overgrown track to the Polaris. John Mitchell one of those whose story is entwined with Nelson's Maitai Valley. <laughs>